Jen here with a layout for the Wild Whisper design team. I am doing a bit of a little flip through here, kind of showing you one of my camp traveler's notebooks that I've been working on. These are all our camping trips from last summer. And I've slowly been working away at this using stuff from um, Wild Whisper and also uh, from Scrap Shots. So it's a bit of a, you know, mishmash of a bunch of collections from those two places and yeah I wanted to give you a little kind of peek at what I've been working on a lot of these layouts have process videos or lives that um, you can go and check out to see how I actually put them all together but here is pretty much as far as I've gotten in this traveler's notebook but I want to get started on my 2024 one because I feel like I'm going to be using a lot of the same product and so I can maybe kind of piggyback on um, one off of the other. Does that make sense? Piggyback one off of the other? No. But if I'm going to do a layout in my traveler's notebook, I can also just, you know, stretch that and do a layout in um, the album I'm going to do for 2024 as well. So I figured I might as well go ahead and at least get it started, get a title page going, you know, get a little bit of inspiration and see what I can come up with. Um, but before I did that, I have been cleaning my room. So there are going to be some organizing, cleaning, um, reality in your face this is real life I can't believe I'm showing this on camera kind of videos coming up very soon um, so stay tuned for those but every time I do a layout I am going to be you know just doing a little bit of organizing here and there to kind of help the process along so that it doesn't feel quite so overwhelming I don't have a great space and I'm not very good at um decorating. I'm great at organizing. I love organizing. My ADHD brain very much loves to organize other people's stuff. I love color coordinating. I love alphabetical order. I love, you know, filing systems. I I love organizing, but I can't seem to do it for myself. I can't seem to find a system that works where I can see everything. It's out in the open so that I know I have it. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, that's the struggle. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm going through all of my Wild Whisper cards that I have in my little pullout bin. I've showed you guys my bin before. It had um, all of these cards in it and then it also has my stamps and it has my stencils and it has um, some flair which you'll see in a little bit and a few packs of ephemera and a few packs like this one this is the strength of the season where it has some cards and also some ephemera so it was getting a bit disorganized as I was pulling things out of their packs and not quite putting them back into the packaging um and so I thought if I'm doing this video anyways, I might as well go ahead and organize um, all of these cards because I think my kits are almost entirely made up of journaling cards because they just fit so well into the traveler's notebook size and also into the album I'm going to be using for 2024. So it just makes sense. I went through all of the cards and here I've got myself another container which already had stuff in it but that stuff needs to find new homes um so this is going to be all of my journaling cards in that pink container this isn't all the journaling cards I have from Wild Whisper because I have put some in the iris container which I've also shown you multiple times um, with the collections with the larger 12 by 12 papers that I have so I do have more cards to go through but this is what I was going to be working with for this particular layout so that's what I organized so I wanted to just give you a glimpse sometimes I know people love to see what's in your stash and kind of you know it's fun sometimes to see if you have the same things or how much you may or may not have, what you like to keep, what you aren't keeping, that kind of stuff. So I wanted to share that with you. And then now this is the album I'm going to be working in for 2024. 
Um, so it's a flip book from Snap. So that's Simple Stories. And you can see here you get the covers. Essentially, the covers are put together by one of those file binders. I, I don't know what the official term for those are. They're like the legal... Um, legal file binding system. Anyways, so you get that and you get 10 um, page protectors and there there are multiple colors that you can get the, the like covers in. And then I had another pack of page protectors so I decided to combine them all together. And so essentially that particular album can pretty much go as thick as those metal clips are long. So as long as you can bend them enough to keep them in place, um, that's how thick that album is. So, you know, it could be a probably two inches if you really wanted to push it to two inches. There won't be a seam along the edge. There's no binding there. That would all just be the page protectors that you would see. But you could always create something to, you know, give yourself a, a, a spine if you wanted. Um, but yeah, it can go pretty thick. So I thought that that was kind of fun. I grabbed that album from Scrap Shots. Um, so I will leave their link down below if you want to grab some for yourself. And I'm going to make the title page to kind of get myself going and inspired and motivated. We've already been camping, so I know I have pictures ready to go. Um, so I just want to kind of get this album started. And then also now I've pulled out all of those cards and they are all in an iris container with all of the ephemera. So what I've pulled out is all of my adventure cards. So I don't, going through there, I didn't come across any of the more adventure collection which is a few years old most of these are the newest adventure collection um which is still in the stores so you can definitely grab that and then also i pulled out the camp more worry less collection all of the cards i had from that and the ephemera that i had from that um, which you can still see on screen actually and then to kind of beef it up a little bit there is some stuff from the wild whimsy collection and and uh, lake life i think i think there might still be wild whimsy cards in the store i don't know about lake life um but I pulled all of those out because we are going home. So we will be going to the lake and also to the ocean. So both of those kind of work well for that. And so I've pulled them out and I can put them into this kit. But before I leave on uh, our road trip, I'm going to go ahead and pull out any of the ones that I think might work for an ocean vacation. And those will go into a different kit. So, um, you know, things might get shuffled a little bit, but for the most part, I think everything I've pulled out is going to work well for this camping album and then last year's, uh, album, which is a traveler's notebook. Um, so what I've got is some scraps of paper. I'm also going to work with a lot of my scraps because I do have a lot of scraps and this is the perfect size to be using those scraps up because those page protectors, some of them are six by eight size, some of them are two four by sixes. Uh, I think a couple of the pages are one four by six and two four by threes. And then I have some pages that are the four four by threes. So lots of opportunities to use up smaller bits of paper and scraps and that kind of thing. Little cut apart pieces, cards that maybe you don't um, know how to use them as a whole card. You can do what I'm doing here, which is to fussy cut the images. Uh, Susie and Heather always have really nice, beautiful images on their cards, so it makes it really easy to fussy cut those out. So I think that I'm going to be able to get a really good dent put in all of those cards and all of uh, these two collections with these albums. So this is exactly what I did. I grabbed some scraps. I pieced them all together so that I could get my six by eight size. Um just slightly smaller than the actual page protector itself so that it slides in nicely because this is just going to be one side and I knew I wanted to add a little bit of dimension in there and then I also pulled out a couple of cards that I really liked the images that I knew I would probably fussy cut and kind of create some sort of embellishment cluster oops did you see that I just stuck my stencil 
right into the solar paste that I just put down. Go Jen! <laughs> um, and so that main piece of paper, the white paper, that is actually little bears on it. And so I thought it would be fun to pull out the bear stencil from the Camp More Worry Less collection and use some of my new solar paste. So it's the Simon Hurley solar paste. It's created by Ranger. And the solar pastes are a little bit more subtle than the lunar pastes. Um, and so this one that I'm using is called Crocodile Tears. And I think hopefully what you're seeing on your screen is what I am seeing on my screen, which is it's the light from my camera is actually catching the green pigment in those bears. But what I was seeing in real life as I was creating this was much more of like a cream off white color. I wasn't seeing the green. But as soon as it dried, that green really popped out. It's quite beautiful quite pretty. I am super duper in love with that. But that's essentially what the solar and lunar pastes kind of do. Depending on whether you put them on white paper or dark paper, you get a different look to them and a different, um, like they kind of catch the color in a different way. So they're a lot of fun to play with. And I thought with the green, it just works really well with all the colors that I'm already using in this collection, uh, the Adventure Collection, which has a really strong green to um, the, the color theme of that collection. So green's my favorite color. I'm always gonna throw it in there where I can. My mousse that I cut out is green. Um, and then I also cut out that Happy Camper little logo to pop in there. I had a, a scrap of green paper, so I popped that down as well. I did use some of those tabby dots to pop up the Happy Camper circle. Um, those come from Spiegel Mom Scraps. They're just little foam dots, but they're, they're a thinner foam. So um, it's like a little bit of dimension, but not too, too much dimension. And then... My moose, I'm just kind of fixing the antlers with some of those dots as well to kind of get them down um, where they're raised up because they're over top of that happy camper circle. Then I also cut out the RV from a card from the Camp More Worry Less because we do trailer, not quite RV, but we're in a trailer. And so I wanted to kind of get that in there. And there was a little cut apart card um, I actually think it's from the um, Lake Life collection that had some little phrases. So I cut one of those phrases and kind of glued that all down in a bit of a cluster, a little embellishment kind of cluster. And then to finish it off, I added some sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. So those are the pack your bag sequins that were released uh, this month in July. And... I am just going to um, put my date on here. I thought I might add a larger title, but I'm I'm not really going to because you can tell this is about camping. So camping 2024 and I'll stick those down. Those are basic gray alphas that I have in my How to Kill a Kit with Style Kit. So I figured it's right in front of me. I should go ahead and use those, but they weren't quite standing out against the black and white bare paper. So I'm just using my gold pen here, kind of like a gold metallic marker to highlight the letters, or I guess their numbers, highlight those numbers a little bit better. And then I'm gonna do some outlining because if I've got it in one place, I'm always gonna try to get that color somewhere else. So a little doodly border around the circle and then around the entire layout. And I am all done, that is it. So this title page is set to go. I can pop it into my album and get working on that album. So stay tuned for more pages. Please go ahead and pop into the Wild Whisper shop and use my discount code DTGEN to save some money on your next purchase. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment. I'd love to chat with you. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, happy scrapping. Bye. Bye. Thanks to me. Hit the button. Turn my channel.